yes, I'm going to do this. I am going to admit to everyone on the internet about a very embarrassing rookie mistake that I made for a good few days when I started using the Rode Wireless Go. This thing. Well, this is the box. It's a small mic and receiver, and it's meant to be one of the easiest to use and the easiest to set up when you are trying to capture audio with your video. So obviously I managed to mess it all up the first few goes that I had with it. I might have a tiny little mini rant in this video as well, but I will include a step-by-step -step guide on how I use the Rode Wireless Go on my A7 III, which I hope will be useful for someone. Hello everyone, if you are new here, my name is Jenny. I am a wedding photographer based in Winchester in Hampshire in the UK. As I said, I am a photographer, but I also offer video slideshows to my clients. But this typically does not require audio recording. I tend to advise clients to hire a separate videography team if they want a proper video and audio recording of their day or event. So my focus is on the photography side of things with maybe additional little snippets of video if that's what my clients want. But I wanted to delve into the audio recording world because I wanted to improve my YouTube videos. And I also thought that I would want to record maybe little snippets of audio when I'm out and about. So after doing some research, I decided on the Rode Wireless Go. It's small and relatively easy to use, so I thought, perfect, that'll do me. Prior to getting this, I was reliant solely on the inbuilt microphone on my Sony camera. So I've had the Rode Wireless Go for a couple of weeks now and I have used it for a couple of uh, YouTube videos. So I hope that you have noticed some improvement in my audio. Um, as I said, I am a newbie at this and so I'm still learning how to edit audio as well. So what was the rookie mistake that I made? Well, I thought I was plugging in the receiver to the right mic jack in the camera. It turns out I wasn't, and I wasn't actually recording through the Rode Wireless Go. I was recording directly, still using the inbuilt microphone on the camera. So when I realized that I was still using the inbuilt camera mic, then I did some research. And what I found were various YouTube videos actually complaining about the Sony a7 III, which is the camera that I'm using, about its microphone jack um, being broken and not working. So I did get worried about that, but then did more research. So, okay, my little mini rant is actually um, about manufacturers not including a full set of instructions with their gadgets. I mean, the last two bits of equipment that I've bought for my cameras, um, that's this, the Rode Wireless Go and also the gimbal that I bought, had very, very minimal instructions on it. It had uh, various illustrations on how to turn them on and how to sort of uh, start off with them, um, but they did not have kind of full instructions so I think maybe kind of the manufacturers of these gadgets uh, maybe expect people to know how to use them already. And so they do have minimal instructions on them. But um, if you do have to problem solve, then you will have to go on the internet to look for the solution. So I do wish there are more instructions included in the box, but that's probably showing my age. I know that um, you can go on the internet and actually find out the solution to your problems. But if they did include it in the first place, then um, at least you'll know that you're uh, landing on the right information. Because obviously when I did that first, um, I didn't get the information that I needed straight away. So anyway, mini rant over. Um, I do like this setup and I do like the audio that's coming out of it. So now for the rest of the video, I'll give you my step-by-step -step instructions on how I use the Rode Wireless Go system on my Sony a7 III camera. Here is the box they come in. So inside the box, you get a receiver and a microphone. And this is what it looks like mounted on the camera with charge. But the first thing that you need to do, obviously, is to charge up both the receiver and the microphone. And those two black cables over um, in the corners, those are the ones that you need to charge them up. Once they're charged up, 
then you use this little red thing to actually attach your receiver to the camera and this is the right place to put your receiver in to the camera itself. It has a little icon on it that um, shows you that it's the microphone jack. The way to switch them both on is to actually turn on the zero with the slash going through it and hold that down on both of them for three seconds. Now the other thing that you have to do is to actually change your audio record level um, on the camera itself. That you need to do this by going into the camera and the audio record level and setting it to around five. Now that just makes sure that you're recording the audio onto the mic itself and not onto the inbuilt microphone that is in your camera. So say if you had that on at 26, then it would be um, basically recording from the inbuilt microphone on the camera and nothing will be coming out of your Rode Wireless Go mic. So um, I'm gonna, just gonna show you the other bits to this. These are the illustrations of um, the instructions on how to use this. And then the other bits are the accessories. So those little earmuffs, those are for when you go out and about and you want to reduce the kind of outside noise, say it's windy, um, then you use that to uh, attached to your microphone um, and it reduces the noise and so you have your handy little black pouch to carry your microphone and your receiver around. So I hope that's been useful. Tell me in the comments down below if you've made a similar rookie mistake with something and don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so that you know when my next video goes up. Thank you and see you next time. Bye.